I'm a Feed Stories client and I'm not terribly comfortable with video. Video isn't something that I naturally gravitate to, but we talked and uh, we created a process. And so normally when I have a promotion that I need to put together, I'm spending a lot of time writing copy and sifting and sorting and perfecting and everything. And the process with Feed Stories has been get together with Bob, shoot video for an hour or two where Bob just asks questions and the editors take care of the rest. So it's, it's been pretty effortless. Um, furthermore, Feed Stories edit all the video, they put, push it out on Facebook, they buy the traffic, they track the traffic, they make sure that we can connect the dots. And it's surprisingly easy to deal with. And uh, Feed Stories has been very proactive in figuring out timelines, like scheduling months in advance. Okay, what's coming up? What's coming around the corner? Anticipating things, seeing what's around the bend. And so my team has found it very effective and you know we, we can connect the dots. We know that people are engaging with the videos. We see telltale signs that it's lifting other numbers that we can't directly track. Um, and I think it's because there's a tighter bond with video than there is with text. There's people who they won't engage with text, but they will engage with the video. The world is definitely steering that direction these days. And so we've been very happy. So on one of the Feed Stories calls, it came up that I was gonna be flying to Dublin and doing a seminar in Dublin, Ireland. And they scrambled around very quickly, put together a promotion that was geared to Ireland and put two more people in relatively expensive seats in fairly short order. I mean, it was, it was very fast. I know from prior experience that having those people in the room it greatly increases their customer value. So there's a multiplier effect there too. What we rely on Feed Stories to do for us is to sell expensive, high-end seminars, programs, engagements, coaching, consulting, and things that are not easy to explain to people. Um, what we do doesn't necessarily lend itself to some 30-second elevator speech. and. Uh, what Bob and Brandon are really good at is pulling out the essence, the essential details of a story, putting it together, expressing it, communicating it, and getting people to take action.